Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a guide to easy dressing. These are just my tips and tricks on how I get dressed up every day and how I figure out what to wear. So if this is something you are interested in, please stay tuned, but before that, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I put out a new video. You'll get three videos a week, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. And also follow me on on Instagram at Naomi Boyer and on Snapchat as Boyer Naomi. So basically this video is going to be about how to dress up easily. I know a lot of people get frustrated when they try to dress up. You have an idea of what you want to look like but then you get frustrated because you don't know how to achieve that look and so you end up going back to your same old. So today I'm hoping this video can help you achieve your looks. So my number one first tip that I'm going to give you guys is it all starts with you. Do figure out what you want to look like. Knowing what you want to look like is very key because then you at least have a guide and somewhere to start. Whether you want to look sporty, whether you're just casual but you want to look put together, or if you're a super girly girl, or if you're like me and you want to look super chic all the time. So my second tip, once you've figured out what you want to look like, then the next step starts in your closet. So. Going in and purging your closet, I think, is the first start to really transforming how you want to look and a guide to easy dressing. So I go in and clean out or purge my closet at least once a year. I have a video or a vlog where I helped my friend purge her closet and I will link that, but I wanted to just point that out because after we purged her closet, she told me that dressing up is just so much easier now. She's not having to rummage through all her clothes that she doesn't even use. Um, we went in, we took pictures of outfits that I put together for her with the things that we ended up keeping. So definitely going in your closet, throw things out that you don't wear. My rule of thumb is that if you haven't worn anything in the past year, throw it out. Because chances are you are not going to wear that item. But if you have a really hard time departing with that item, then keep it. But create looks that you will wear with that outfit. Take pictures of those looks and keep it somewhere in a folder on your phone, print it out, post it up on your wall in your closet, whatever helps you out. With that being said, once you do purge your closet, look at what you've thrown away. When I purged my closet a couple years ago, everything that I ended up throwing out was everything with prints. So now I don't really buy a lot of prints because I get over prints so quickly. So the next and really, really crucial step in dressing up is having really good basic pieces. So I'm gonna start off with what I have now just because it's what I have now. This is a bodysuit. This is not a white bodysuit, it's a nude bodysuit. When I'm wearing something big, like this cardigan that I have on, it's really long, it's really big. Sometimes a bodysuit just helps give some shape to your body so that you're not too frumpy looking. Basic pieces that have really versatile colors like cream, white, nude, black, blush pink is even like a nude color these days. Opt for the more fancier basics over t-shirts and things like that. So some really cute basics that I feel like are really good necessities for me are like really lacy satin cami tops. This one is by H&M. It's hard to come across really good basics like this and so I always stock up. I got the same basic in this pink or blush pink color. This black tank is more like a polyester material. It kind of looks satiny. This one's from Zara. I love how skinny the straps are so I stocked up on that and I got it in this ivory cream color as well. I will give you guys a whole bunch of links to really good basics in the description box below. So the next tip I want to give you guys, one of the ways that really gets me to looking put together and really dressed up is investing in good outerwear pieces. So that is jackets, long nice cardigans, blazers, just any good outerwear statement piece will act as your accessory to your outfit. So you can go really plain. For example, you can go all black, throw on a jacket, and automatically you look really put together, you're up a level, you're good to go, you're out the door. So my last and final tip, um, I know that not every day is a day where you're gonna wear a third piece. Maybe sometimes it's gonna be too hot to wear a third piece or you just wanna like feel a little bit lighter. So I 
would invest in some really nice blousey pieces. For example, I have this one really cute blouse that I got from Zara. It's white, it has a lot of details, it has no print, it does have texture, it has ruffles. If you are a person that just loves print, um, I have this blouse that's also a really pretty print. This one is from ASOS. I like this one because of the color and because the floral on it is not too crazy and it's something that I feel like won't die out and I won't get sick of. The reason why I like this, it wasn't too expensive, but it looks expensive. Having a good eye for stuff or pieces that look expensive but are not, that will really help build up your wardrobe. So before you go out or go online and just, you know, shop just to shop, just to fill your closet, stop. Don't do that. When you do go shopping, ask yourself, am I gonna love this six months from now? Do I think this is something that's gonna stay on trend? And if not, probably don't get it because you could probably find something better somewhere else. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. Um, these are the couple tips that I gave you, so just start with yourself. Ask yourself what you wanna look like. Throw pieces out that you're not wearing. Invest in really good basic pieces. Try this trick that I use all the time with the third piece or you know, just pairing your outfit with a jacket. It will make your life so much easier because you won't have to think so much. Also invest in good blousey pieces. That way if you don't want to wear a jacket but you still want to look cute and put together, you'll have those as backup. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.